I'm Chris Bates and I'm one of the board members of Parkerville Children and Youth Care. I've been fortunate enough to be involved with a range of charities throughout my career. From teaching refugees in far northern Thailand, through to working with the Red Cross handing out soup to the homeless in the city. And I continue to be involved with a number of charities across Western Australia. I've been very blessed in my life in being born into a loving family and a caring home environment. And from the time I was a small child, I was always taught about the importance of giving back and I've always been very passionate about putting time and energy back into the community. Parkville Children and Youth Care was always a charity that really interested me, given the importance of the services they provide and the rich history of the organisation across WA. Some colleagues and I organised a number of fundraising events for Parky in our 20s, and I loved what the organisation was doing to help the vulnerable children across WA. My two passions from a charity perspective have always been kids and the homeless, as I ultimately believe they're among the most vulnerable members of our community. At the end of the day, the kids we help and serve at Parkerville Children and Youth Care are our future, and it's critical that we do everything in our power to ensure that every child is afforded the opportunity to be the best they can possibly be, regardless of their background or history. I joined the board in 2013 and I've done my best to take on a leadership role and become a proactive contributor since then. My primary role has always been to bring new networks to Parkville Children and Youth Care and ensure we develop a strong following of friends and financial supporters so that we can continue to help children in need well into the future. This became a really important consideration at the board level following the passing of the late Adam Rankin Wilson and also the retirement of George Jones. Two years into my service, I now chair the fundraising and friend raising committees and look forward to introducing some new and exciting events to Parkville Children and Youth Care over the coming years. I'm also very lucky to chair the Board Selection Committee, which is also an exciting part of my role. This involves the introduction of new board members who can bring additional networks and skills to our organisation and ultimately leave it better than when we found it. My vision for Parkville is simply to leave the organisation better than when I found it. We're fortunate enough to have a fantastic and very active CEO and a clear strategic plan for the future at the board level. So I view my role as introducing Parkville Children and Youth Care to new networks and really bridging the gap between business leaders within generations X and Y. I've been lucky enough to bring across a number of new key board members who bring with them new ideas and a renewed level of energy to the table. And I believe this will be a key and critical factor in ensuring the success of the organisation for many years to come. Ultimately, I would like to see the services provided to every child in need in Western Australia. And this part of our vision involves the building of additional child advocacy centres across the state. This will require continuing to develop strategic partnerships with the government, police and various other service providers around Western Australia, as well as continually increasing awareness of the issues faced by children all over the country. Awareness is a key issue for me. And I believe we've got a long way to go in ensuring our networks are aware of the prevalence of child abuse within the communities we all live in. I know the statistics about child abuse were absolutely news to me and the awareness of these issues is always half the battle. Funding is set to become increasingly challenging given the current economic climate and in light of government funding cuts across many key sectors. A critical aspect of my role will be opening new doors within the WA business community to ensure Parkerville can continue its fantastic work for many years to come. I actually view the Royal Commission as a positive thing and believe this view is shared by most people within the organisation. Parkerville Children and Youth Care has been best practice systems and processes in place for many years and have received praise from the Royal Commission at various stages throughout the process in recent times. At the end of the day, anything that highlights uh, issues in the community and leads to positive outcomes for children in care, either past or present, is a fantastic thing as far as I'm concerned.